here is our piece curtain raiser. It uses the notes C, B, A and G. Go and check those out just to make sure that you know what you're doing with them before you start. After our four bars rest, we have six C's, B, A and then a really long G at the end, okay? Have a listen. One, two, three, four. Pause the video and have a little practice of that. When we look at our next bit, our next bit is exactly the same. So practice doing it twice. Make sure you take a nice big breath. That G is eight beats long. So we have to take a really big breath before we get there. we have is A, G, 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 A, G, G. Have a listen. One, two, three, four. Remember that last G is that little bit longer, it's a minute, it's two beats. We get onto our third and final line and we have a, G, A, G, A, G, A, B. That B is a little bit sneaky at the end, just comes when you don't expect it. So remember, you're lifting that third finger up, A and G, for quite a while, and then you have a B at the end. Remember to lift two fingers up there. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Pause the video and have a go at that. Our last section, you start off with four C's. That's pretty simple. Your next bar, A, G, A, G, A, C. A, G, A, C is quicker than you've had before. They are quavers, they're joined together, they are half beat notes. A, G, A, G, A, C. Have a listen and then pause the video and have a practice. Last thing you need to remember is that at the start and at the end of our playing, we have our repeat signs. The repeat signs mean that once you finish that long C at the end, that five beat C, you count three rests and then you go straight back to the beginning. Have a listen, then pause the video and practice yourself. One, two, three. the little sections then we'll try playing the piece as a whole at the end.